Now, next topic that is galvanometer as voltmeter. See, directly again we can't use galvanometer as a voltmeter. Voltmeter that is the voltage, or we can say the potential difference measuring device. So, see here the limitations. Suppose through resistance R the current I is flowing. Value of I that is V by R. So the potential difference between two terminal of R that we can write I R and this voltage I R that we want to measure. So any voltage measuring device that always will be connected parallel to the component because in parallel combination the voltage is the same across each component. Now suppose here we connect galvanometer directly parallel to this resistance. So first thing current itself will be changed because initially the circuit resistance was R and now the circuit resistance that is the parallel combination of R and RG. So current will be V upon RRG upon R plus RG. Now current is changed. Again, that particular current when reaches here, it will be divided in two part. If resistance R is greater than RG, then majority current will pass through the galvanometer. It will be damaged. Now first understand mathematically, if you want to keep your current equal to V by R, then see concentrate here. If we take RG that is very much greater than R. So if we take RG very much greater than R, then this RG plus R that you can write simply equal to RG. So in this equation RRG upon R plus RG, this R plus RG that is nearly equal to RG, so RG, RG cancelled and your resultant resistance that comes to R. Clear up to this one. So now here mathematically we discussed RG that we have to take very much large. Now we know this thing in series combination, the resistance will be sum up. So to make the resistance of the galvanometer too much large, very simple thing, connect large resistance in series with it. So here the potential difference across galvanometer that will be equal to potential difference across R and that is equal to V, this one. So we can say here between these two terminal of the galvanometer, if the potential difference is V volt, then we can write V equal to current into total resistance. So Ig into total resistance that is Rg plus Rs. Therefore, Rg plus Rs equal to V by Ig. Therefore, Rs equal to V upon Ig minus Rg. So this much series resistance that you have to connect with galvanometer to convert it in voltmeter. Up to this one clear. Now, how one can use this one? Suppose galvanometer is given to you. So for that galvanometer, current capacity and its resistance will be given to you. Suppose current capacity is 1 milliampere and its resistance is 25 ohm. Now you want to convert that galvanometer into voltmeter, which can measure maximum 10 volt. Then here you have to substitute V equal to 10. Then solve this equation. You will get value of RS. Now take that much resistance and connect it in series with galvanometer. 
then after first apply known potential differences and then recalibrate the scale of the galvanometer and now you can use that one as a voltmeter which can measure maximum 10 volt clear to all of you see to convert galvanometer into a meter theoretically we discussed this thing the resistance of the galvanometer that should be zero but practically it is not possible so remember this thing keep this thing in your mind for ideal ammeter the word used ideal ideal ammeter the resistance that should be equal to zero and here to convert galvanometer into voltmeter its resistance that should be as possible as large one so we can say for ideal voltmeter resistance should be infinite clear to all of you